Well, hello everyone. Um, you join me today, I'm at Decoy Lakes on Oak Lake. Really good lake, lots of big fish in here. Um, I'm gonna discuss something just a little bit, not different, but something a bit, little bit overlooked. We're, gonna, we're fishing for big carp today, and we're gonna do it just simply with maggots. Now, everyone thinks of maggots as a winter bait or F1 fishing, but they're absolutely deadly for big carp. There's just something about them they can't resist. And once they get a taste for them, it's just, it's almost unbeatable at times. Um, they sink really slowly, draw the fish in, and due to that, we have to look at how we feed them and where we fish them. Um, I'm gonna to talk to you about all different ways of feeding that we can do. Also using dead maggots is a place for those and the live. Um, and we should hopefully catch a great big bag of carp with a, with a few simple tips for along the way for you. Um, you should have a great day. They're massive fish in here, so I'm hopefully going to catch a load of them for the camera for you. Right, so we've got um, three different areas of the peg we're going to uh, approach, all in different ways. The first is, the, these aren't very wide lakes. I'm going to fish 13 metres. In all honesty, the peg is, from, from a top four all the way out, is the same depth. There's, there's not a lot of variation. It's just the fish like to sit further away from you at the start of the day. Um, there's two different ways we can do this, and I'm going to run you through both. I'm going to start off just fishing shallow, just pinging some maggots, seeing what's about, and it's building up underneath. Now, it's not an ideal day, it's gone a bit cooler. It's, I don't think shallow's gonna be the way forward, but we've, I'll still give it a go. Maggot's gonna take a while to build up everywhere, so I might just get an early fish. Um, if I feel the fish are, are longer, which there's always gonna be a few fish out, sat out in the lake away from us, um, and I can't catch shallow, um, just loose feeding isn't the right way to go because like I say, maggots fall so slowly that, that it's gonna bring a, they're, they're gonna sit slightly off bottom. You're gonna have problems with foul hooking. That's where the big cup comes in uh, to play. Just feeding, dumping in big pots full of maggots and just sitting there and waiting over it. I don't want the maggots falling through the water, like bringing them just off bottom where I can't catch them. I either wanna catch shallow or on the bottom. There's no sort of in between for me. The second line, it's probably the, the deadly one, which is fishing short, but again, we've got to combat the slow fall of the maggots. So I want to fish as close to me as I can. The further away I fish from me, the more likely they are to come up. So I'm just gonna fish it just off at an angle, just a top kit and one, just, just on the bottom of the slope there. So I'm close enough, they're, they're gonna be seeing enough disturbance from me that it's, it's hopefully gonna keep them down a little bit. I'm gonna just regularly build that up Good, good palmfuls of maggots. Again, not messing around. I want an arrival of a lot of fish there. Um, and, and again, it's trying to keep them down. Finally, we can't go fishing in the summer on a carp lake without we're doing some edge fishing. Uh, I've got a lovely bit of shallow water. It's about two foot down the bank there. And that's where the dead maggots are gonna come into play. I've also mixed up some micros to go with them, just to help draw them in. Um, we all know ground bait or micros, it's just something they associate with coming in, so it's just gonna help get them there a little bit quicker. And again, I'm just gonna be dumping big pots of dead maggots in there, a few micros. Why I use dead maggots down the edge is I wanna be building up a real column of bait. I don't want them wriggling away, wriggling into the silt. We are on a bit of a slope, so I want them sat there. So that's where the dead maggots come to play. I might fish live maggots on the hook over it, but, but I just want a big bed of bait sat there. So those three areas, they're gonna take a bit of building up, so I'm gonna get feeding now, just see what happens and start the, start the day long, furthest away from me, and then hopefully it'll get better closer in as the day goes on. But I'm itching to get fishing, so let's get started. Right, so I'll talk you through how the session's going so far. We've started out long. I, I actually started shallow. Like I said at the start of the video, I don't think it was gonna be right today. It's, it's quite cold actually. Um, so it didn't look right. There wasn't a lot of fish moving around, but 
I've pinned a few maggots and done it for a few minutes and we haven't caught anything. So I've dropped on the deck. I've just pinged to start with just to, just to see what was going on, but there's no liners or anything. Um, and what I've actually done is then, I didn't want, they weren't going to come up in the water, like I said earlier. So I've just started big potting, just a, a good palm full of maggots. And I've, I've put a few micros in it just to, just to kick start it off again. Um, it's been really slow going to start with, to be honest. Um, I've just fished a nice positive rig, a bunch of maggots, because I've got a, a, a lot of bait there on the bottom. Um, but then it started, we started to get a few bites, caught some big F1s, a couple of carp. Um, and it's been really good. It, and as, as I've started building it up, you've started to get a lot more indications. And what's been noticeable, every time I've put a bit more, like a, a palm full of maggots out there, you get two or three quick bites. Um, some small fish today, which I'm a bit surprised with in here. It's normally great big carp, but I've caught some new stocky F1s and Eyed and stuff, as well as carp that they've put in. Um, and all the while, I've been priming this the short line up. That, that's where we're going to do some damage, I think. So we're going to move on to that next. So fingers crossed we start getting some of the great big ones. While we've been out long, I'll talk you through what I've been using. Nice, simple setup. Like I say, we're aiming to just fish on the bottom. I'm not bothered about the fish seeing the, the bait falling or anything like that. Um, just a power kit. I've got 16 to 18 slick in it. Um, for, cup, for the big carp that I am targeting, I would, for fishing on the bottom, I would generally fish another grade up, but you catch a bit of everything on this. It's got plenty of power for what I want to do. And we're fishing long, so I can just ship back nicely. Main line is 020 power micron. Um, down to 018 of the same. The hook's size 14 MXC2. I'm fishing like four maggots on it, so I want a nice big hook. Um, and the float is, again, it, it's what I'm doing. I'm b bombing everything down. I want it nice and steady. I've got a 0.75 power slim on, the one with the, the two and a half mil bristle. Nice and thick. I've left a bit of bristle showing so I can, I can read what's going on. You're going to get a few liners. You're fishing in the deepest water. Shotting's really, really simple. I've got uh, a bulk of number eights, um, about 14 inches from the hook. Um, and then I've got one number eight dropper just above a six inch hook length. Really, really positive. Like I say, you're not watching the bait fall. You just want it bolted down and, and sat there fishing straight away. So it's been really good. Like I say, not the fish we were probably expecting to catch, but but it's ticked us over on a cold day to get started. But all the while I've been priming this short line and I think that's going to get really good as the day goes on. So I'm going to move on to that now and hopefully we'll, we'll catch a load more fish for you. Right, so poll choice today. I get asked loads on social media. Um, how strong is the MTX-5 and will it handle big carp? Well, I've been using it all day today. And don't hesitate to use it for big carp. And you'll, you'll see in, in the video some of the size of the fish we've been catching. Been fishing with the heaviest elastics. Got no qualms with it at all. It's the best pole I've ever owned. So strong and stiff. Handles. Anyone that knows me knows I don't mess around playing fish and I've, I've never ever felt like I'm going to break it. So there is the answer to that one. Just wanted to get that one in very quickly for you. Fantastic bit of kit and if you're in the lookout for a top end pole, definitely check one out. Right, so we've uh, we caught a few long and uh, now we've moved on to the short line. We've actually moved where we're fishing in the short line and there's a good reason for that. I've actually started off to my uh, to my left slightly with a top kit and one, which is just on the bottom of the slope. Um, and and like long, it's been tricky, but they've been be much bigger fish there when when we have had a bite. But a few foul hookers, and it just never felt quite right. In all honesty, um, they, they they are coming to the noise of the bait, but I don't think they're really interested in feeding. So what I've done just to just to cut that down, I've replumbed up. To my right now 
Um, and it soaps away really quickly here. And I'm actually just fishing a top kit and angle and it's still the same depth. I'm still in the deep water there. Um, and, and like I said earlier, that's why we've started on quite short anyway, but we're even shorter now, just to, just to try and spook those fish down a little bit. And it has been better. It's, it's still tough, like I say, with it being cold there. Uh, it's not fishing as amazing as we thought it might do, but it's catching a nice, some nice carp now and a big barbel I've just had. Um, just regularly feeding big, like a big amount of maggots. Nice strong rig this time and laying it into the feed. Because uh, I'm loose feeding, not like when I was big potting long, where I'm loose feeding and it's falling through the water, I'm just laying my rig in with it. Just trying to get one to grab its attention as it goes down. And, and we have started to get an odd bite now. I, I just think personally today that the fish just want to, to catch fish properly today, you need to be in a bit shallower water. So I'm going to try and get you one now like that, which is very angry. Um, and then we'll soon be in the edge because I think that's going to be the answer. Right, so I'm gonna have, have a quick look at the, the rig I've been using for maggots short, where I've been throwing them and we're looking to fish through the water. So the setup's slightly different. Um, line, and, line and hooks are all the same. It is just a size 16 MXC2 this time, just a slightly smaller hook. I've only got a couple of maggots on, just falling through. So slightly lighter, it just helps that slightly smaller hook. Um, elastic has been stepped up a grade now. I'm on the 18 to 20. I'm expecting when, if they, when I start catching there, I'm going to catch really well and, and you're getting close to the edges here, so they're big fish. So I don't I want to be making the most of them when I start catching them. Um, float for this line, nice carbon stem. I've talked about this loads before. You could lay the rig in and it follows it through, so it's perfect for on the drop. Um, got one of the new slim carbons on, perfect float for, for maggot fishing. Uh, just a number. 10 under it just to help it cut through the tension of the water. Bulk of five number 10s and then two number 10 droppers. So nice light fall of the bait. Um, like I say, it's been a little bit slow. So we're now going to have a look down the edge and hopefully that's the answer in that bit shallower water. So let's try that. Right, so I hope you're enjoying the video. We've caught some lovely big fish here at Decoy today. This venue is uh, always got a special place in my heart because when I got back into fishing after a long layoff, this is where I learned to fish commercials. I spent so much time here. I was here three, two or three times a week. Uh, it was my favorite venue for a long while. Uh, what is your favorite venue? I'd love to know. Please leave your comments below. Right, um, just a quick one with bait. It's, it's, well, it's the simplest bite side tray in the world. Um, maggots, as I said, red and whites. Um, I do like them for different things. I've, they're mixed in now because I'm fishing down the edge. Um, just make sure you've got some nice fresh maggots. That's the best advice I can give some nice fresh big maggots. Uh, they'll just be easier for throwing and they make a bit more noise. You'll group them a bit better especially if it's windy like today. Um, it's, you do need quite a few maggots to do this effectively. Don't, don't be put off by that. Whatever you don't use, you're not gonna waste any. It's not like some baits where they're not gonna last. These, put them in a bag. You can put them, use them again the week after whatever you've got left. Or if you're not going fishing for a few days or weeks, just freeze them. Um, just pop them in a bag, freeze them. These are, these have been in there six months, some of my dead maggots. I've got a freezer full. Um, they're never going to waste. Um, so it's quite cost effective. It's not like you throw micros and stuff away at the end of the day. Um, that's all there is really to say, but you, you literally don't need anything else. Just set your mind to it. Keep feeding it. Um, that's the main thing. Just keep it going in and those carp will respond to it. And once they're on it, 
oh, it's like a drug to them. They are, you can catch some silly weights of fish very quickly because it's it just becomes so easy. All the bites will be positive when they're really doing it and you've got your feed and then you're in the right place. Really simple day. I only have a bait I bought, like I say, just a few micros, just to kick things off down the edge, uh, just to help draw them into that shallow water in the first place. It's best once you are catching well to actually cut them out because you don't want them becoming preoccupied, you just want them on your maggots. So, simplest bait tray in the world. Right, so we're moving on to the final area of our swim now, the margin. Um, as expected, we have already been down there and it's been much better. We've caught some really big fish. It was clear from, from everywhere else we fished today, they just wanted to feed in a bit shallower water. So it's been perfect. What is really apparent is they are straight on the feed. So I've got my rig baited up. I've got a big bunch of white maggots on there, nice standout bait seven or eight maggots on there. Got my cup here ready. And it's about getting your bait straight in. Like big cup of dead maggots and a few micros. Straight in the peg, make a bit of noise. And, and they're generally on it, like straight away. Let's say I've got my rig baited already. I'll go and put that in. And hopefully it won't take us long to get one. <laughs> That is the beauty of fishing with dead maggot, with uh, maggots as well. Nothing's wasted because all the maggots I've got left from today will go in the freezer, and that's that's my dead maggots sorted for next time. So there's no waste. We don't want any waste. Everything's expensive enough these days. Um, so yeah, the the trap's set. Hopefully, this isn't going to take very long. And there we go. A lovely big common. See that, this is what I was saying about the slick elastic. This is this is 22. This is as heavy as they go. There's still loads of stretch in there. Look, and it's not like I'm uh, tearing them off, but a couple of strips. And we've got him just like that. Look, how, how quick is that? 20 seconds? And I don't, I'm, I'm certainly not pulled hard there. It just applies lovely pressure. And that's a, a great fish again. So, here's proof if ever it was needed. Maggots are an absolutely deadly summer bait for carp. They're not just for winter fishing. The size of these fish here today, they absolutely love them. Um, I wouldn't be without natural baits in the summer. So get out, think about how you're feeding them and you're in for an absolutely great day. You'll get to a stage in the year where these fish get sea pellets every day of the year and they just get fed up with them. And, and natural baits, maggots are absolutely unbeatable. I'm gonna slip this one back, get out on the bank and try them.